Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast, Monday Morning Moments with John O'Leary. With the opening ceremony of the Olympics occurring way back on July 26, and the Paralympics concluding September 8th next week, we've been treated to more than a month of remarkable stories and incredible competition. While our family may have missed some of the events, maybe your family missed some of the events as well, there was one event in particular that my daughter Grace insisted we watch, gymnastics. As remarkable as their athletic ability clearly was, it was a question that my little girl Grace shared at the end that moved me most. I want to share the question with you today and why it matters. Let's roll. After a week of roundoffs and front handsprings and split leaps and flyaways, I know, don't ask me to demonstrate any one of these. The final points were tallied, the winners were determined, and the medals were awarded. Tears were shed, flags were waved, anthems were played. And then, my friends, it was over. It ended. Years of obstinate schedules, early mornings, long days, working through pain, emotional stress, financial burdens on the family, time away from the family, magical moments of success and public failures in front of all these individuals faded into the past as the American gymnast walked into the tunnel, out of the arena, and then into the rest of their lives. As they left the arena with tears rolling down their cheeks, smiles on their faces, and gold medals on their chest, my daughter asked me a question. I'm sure it was a question on many of their minds as well. Daddy, what do they do now? What do they do now? For many of them, the entire purpose for their lives and sense of personal identity was now coming to an end. What do we do now? And although most of us will never hear the anthem play as a medal hangs around our necks, it's a question we must also wrestle with at various stages in our life. Taking a child to kindergarten, dropping them off at college, or walking them down an aisle. What do I do now? The loss of a job or the start of retirement. What do I do now? The loss of a friendship, the end of a marriage, the death of a loved one. What do I do now? How do we respond when a role we so closely identified with becomes a thing of the past? Frequently, the question we ask ourselves comes from a place of despair and dread. What do I do now? But my friends, we don't have to be defined by the roles we once held. The end of one chapter, turns out, can unlock unexpected opportunities in the next. Yes, the sting felt at the end of a chapter is real. Yeah, it is. It must be mourned. It must be grieved. And yet, today, as you sip your morning coffee, as you reflect on chapters of your life, as you recognize the ups and downs already recorded, and the miraculous gift of simply being alive, let me share a different question that might eventually liberate us from attaching our entire identity to something that lives in the past, to something that remains ahead. You ready for it? Here it comes. You may wanna write it down. What do I do now? What do I do now? Yeah, in asking the same question with a completely different tone, this one with a courageous heart, an unrelenting spirit, an open-handed approach rather than one with clenched fists, cursed words, or hearts angered. We can be unshackled from distractions. We can be free to limitless possibility, and we can be liberated to boldly soar forward in life. No, it will not remove the pain of the end of the chapter. That's going to remain with us throughout the next chapter and maybe for the rest of the book. But my friends, it will remind us that there is purpose in the pain. There is meaning still in our lives. And if that's true, there's hope for our future. So today, whether you are an Olympic athlete or an ordinary human being like myself and my family, here's my encouragement. Choose gratitude for the experiences that you have had the privilege of looking back at. Choose defiant hope also for a life of impact and purpose moving forward. You may not get a medal for this approach, 
but you will receive something far more valuable. You ready for it? Pure joy, pure joy. My friends, I want to thank you as I do every week for tuning in to our Live Inspired podcast community. I want to remind you that the foundation is firm. The headwind is real, but the best is yet to come. So grab that medal, hold fast to pure joy, and recognize your very best is yet to come. So for this time, and until next time, my name is John O'Leary. Today is your day. Live Inspired.